Hey everybody, I'm Mike the Cop, and if you're new to this channel, I am a former cop of 11 years. I started this channel back in 2016 to talk about topics that matter to me or were of interest to me where law enforcement meets culture, sometimes in humorous ways, sometimes in serious ways, hopefully engaging to everybody who watches it. If you like the content, if it adds value, then please drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, share it up. And if you wanna know how you can support me in my continued efforts to make good content, you can always check out MikeTheCop.tv. Let's do this. Politicians, l let's just take our current commander in chief as a point in case example. Come on, man. Love talking about guns. Specifically, they love talking about less guns. <laughs> Even more specifically, they love talking about less guns while they themselves don't know much about guns. Even more laser-like specificity they like to talk about less guns while not knowing much about guns right in the wake of a tragedy because in the words of other politicians, you don't want to waste a good crisis. As a nation, we have to ask, when in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? What in God's name do you need a solvent for except to kill someone? Deer aren't running through the for us with Kevlar vests on, for God's sake. So the answer in the minds of these politicians that we so shamelessly have put in charge is get rid of guns and you get rid of violence. The problem with that solution being that one, it's hypocritical and two, it's completely impractical. So let's talk about these things. With regard to the hypocrisy of this whole position, Notice in the clip uh, that we played earlier, and we'll just have like a pause version of this up here. Notice what you don't see in this clip uh, of the president. And that is here, 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 and probably over here. And what are these things that I'm marking on the screen? Well, those are where guns are probably at protecting the president who's on the screen. Even when the president is rolling around in a bulletproof and a bombproof vehicle, all around him are, you guessed it, guns. Gasp. I never would have guessed. In fact, the Secret Service, they don't just have pistols. They've got other varieties of long guns, sniper rifles, etc. The list and the variety are long. They are extensive. And that's just not only the, uh, the guys in the suits that talk into their wrists like this that you're thinking about. They have an armed uniformed division as well as part of the Secret Service. There's there's a wide variety of tasks that they are given in their purview of jurisdiction as Secret Service agents. All that to say, did you know that they take the presidential security and other politicians and cabinet members security so safely, so, so seriously, that they will go weeks ahead of time in advance with those armed men to prepare how to use those arms in the event that they need to protect the president or other politicians that they deem more valuable than us. And of course, it's not just the president, it's the other spineless fork tongue politicians that uh, we have running around the Capitol. Th they also get protection. They, in fact, they have their own whole police department in the Capitol Police. And so it's not, it's not just the Secret Service, it's well beyond that to protect these politicians. I mean, when they evacuated AOC on January 6th, do you think it wasn't with guns? I mean, what do you think? They were they were directing things and protecting people with, with flashlights? I guess when it comes to politicians, we can't rule it out. The heart of this hypocrisy is that politicians, while they talk about uh, needing less guns, they actually love guns. I love guns. They need guns for themselves. But when it comes to guns for you, guns for me, guns for anybody in this country that is a, a legal citizen with the constitutional God-given rights to have them, that's where they draw the line. It's okay for them, not so much for you. They can go to extraordinarily costly lengths to go in advance, travel in advance of a politician to make sure he's protected by these weapons but to put the same amount of effort into the government-run schools where our kids are at, mm, not so much. Let me big bird and cookie monster this for you, this hypocrisy. They think they are more important than our children. So we see the hypocrisy by saying that we need less guns while they themselves really actually love guns and want more of them. But it's also an impractical solution, this whole idea that to solve 
the problem of violence, getting rid of guns is the answer. It's completely impractical. Think about it. Is the solution to sexual assault to ban wieners? Is the solution to arson to reduce the number of assault lighters and matches? When people were killed in 2017 in New York City by a, a vehicle intentionally running off the road, was there a call to stand up against the, the car lobby? What, was there a call to ban assault trucks? When someone is diagnosed with cancer, the doctor does not give them a Band-Aid. You have to treat the cause. You have to get to the root of the problem. And this impractical solution that they want to offer every time a tragedy strikes is, is impractical and hypocritical. Maybe it's time they, the politicians, didn't get the say that is reserved for we, the people. I like how Chad Prather put it in a recent tweet. Punishing the law abiding based on the conduct of the lawless means the law abiding will only have such rights as the lawless will allow. All right, guys, so those are my thoughts on the surface level on this topic of why politicians love guns so much. What are yours? Drop them in the comments. Again, if you found value in this video, please like it, share it, and consider subscribing to the channel. I heard you guys, you want me to make more content. I've been really busy on the Failure to Stop podcast project, and I've also been uh, you know, living my real life and trying to grow real world businesses <laughs> off of social media as well. But I think that you're going to see an uptick in my content uh, as it grows through 2022. So hope to see you stick around. Till next time. See ya.